In this part of the video, we are going to go through each of the exercises which are contained within the lab workbook for you to work through. All together, we're going to ask each participant to conduct six contractions, three predominantly using the bicep muscles and three predominantly using the tricep muscle group. Each contraction will be with an increasing resistance. The first contraction with two kilograms of resistance, the second with five kilograms of resistance, and the last one with eight kilograms of resistance on each muscle group. Each contraction will be an isometric contraction and will be held for 10 seconds. So at this point, I'm gonna start the live recording using the Parallab system, and we'll get some resting data just to make sure that we've got a signal coming through in each of our channels. And at this point, I'll ask the participant to do the first contraction with the biceps at an angle of 90 degrees at the elbow to hold an isometric contraction for 10 seconds, two kilograms. And relax. At this point, we are now going to ask the participant, using the same resistance, to perform an isometric contraction, predominantly using the tricep muscles. And contract. And stop. Now we're going to change the weight. We're going to increase the resistance to five kilograms. And we're going to start with a bicep contraction again for 10 seconds. Ready and go. And relax. And now we are going to do a tricep contraction for 10 seconds using the same resistance. Go. And relax. And now we're going to do the last resistance change. We're going to increase the resistance to 8 kilograms. Now we'll do a contraction with the bicep muscle group for 10 seconds and contract. And relax. And now we'll do the last contraction using the 8 kilogram resistance tricep contraction and contract and relax. At this point we have completed each of the exercises that we need and we have the raw data that we now need uh, to analyze so we can stop the live recording on screen. What we need to do now is record the amplitude of electrical activity in each of the muscle groups for each of the contractions. We want to do this for the integer data, but also for the root mean square data. So we want to record the data from each of the four rows. To do that, we want to look at the beginning of a contraction and to look at the minimal amplitude prior to contraction, and then look at the maximum amplitude during the contraction. So I'll do this from one example, and we use the last contraction which had the heaviest resistance, the eight kilograms, and we'll use the tricep muscle. So in the bottom left corner, you'll see this little N badge here. If you click on this, hold it, and drag it, you can bring it to the baseline just prior to contraction here. And you can move this around if you need to establish where the baseline is. At that point, you drop that, and then if you move along the length of the contraction here, if you move your cursor, you'll see that an X follows the line of the amplitude of electrical activity. If you bring it visually to the peak, what you'll see over on the right-hand side is a delta, and you can see 0.12 millivolts per second here in this second row. Okay, and that is the uh, maximum delta or maximum change in amplitude between baseline and the peak of the contraction. For that time point, you will be able to see in each of the actual rows 
what the amplitude was for these specific uh, parameters that you put in place here. So you should record that data for each of the muscle groups in both the integer and the root mean square data and fill those into your lab workbook into the appropriate uh, columns of the table. Do this for each contraction uh, that was performed within the exercises and collate all that data uh, to complete the workbook and to complete this particular lab.